Hi, my name is Noshad, some of you guys know me as Siobhan and some of you decided to shorten it down as Shubes and as a result I have kept out a podcast called YouTubes and um, yeah, big hi to shout out Danny um, my buddy from Edmonton uh, who's now living in Ottawa but you know the Edmonton over there not the Edmonton down the road this, is, this, this might, might become a very bad running gag but anyway Speaking of bad running gags, clickbait. Some of you guys will click, you know, I'll, 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 I'll go to the news now and you'll click the articles. And some of them, some of them are very good, some of them are very bad. Now, some of them are just by amateurs, they're learning their craft and everything, but some of them actually are like proper correspondents. And there was an article by um, Ben Pierce for ESPN. And he goes, Well, are we going to regret selling Fazio because we want to replace them? Is it a bit of a misstep? Well, yeah, clearly you would like to have at least two players of each position, clearly. So I wouldn't say that's a bad thing, but here's the thing, it's not as if they've sold like an intrinsic, part, integral part of our team and decided to replace with no one. Federico Fazio was severe captain. We signed him because for whatever reason we couldn't get, oh, I forgot the name of that player now from, oh God, from, oh God, this is driving me nuts now. That's Soldado's club, Argentinian player. It was, we couldn't sign him. They wanted too much money. I think they wanted like 20 plus million. And we're like, nope, we're not paying that much money. He then injured his ankle or his knee or something, so he was out for the season anyway. So, but, oh God, it's driving me nuts now. What club, club he plays for? And I know they call Yellow Submarines, but anyway. Um, so we signed him because we weren't able to get the players we wanted. And that's not the first time we've done that. We did that with uh, Benji. We did that with Clinton as well. We clearly wanted Saida Berahino. We couldn't get him, so we thought we'd get a player that has similar qualities. Maybe we could shoehorn him in. And sometimes shoehorn him works, as, as, as is the case with Eric Dyer. We were able to shoehorn him, and he was able to you know, do a great job. But people forget, he actually started off as a centre-half. Now, you know, obviously, we need to rest them, and Toby, you know, I feel bad for Southampton. Not only do we, do we nick their... You know, m- you know, manager for not, you know, I'm, 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 I'm compensating them, but not what well, can't imagine. I can't imagine it was a huge amount compared to how much he actually is worth to us. And then we end up stealing some of the better players from Southampton for a real pittance. So I think that's, you know, Southampton fans, if you hate us, I kind of get why. Sorry. But um, no, in all honesty, you know, we've brought in um, Victor Wanyama who we wanted to sign last year, was the price was too prohibitive, so we kind of converted Dyer to sentiment centre midfield. And it worked. It worked an absolute treat. Last year, we didn't have Fazio. Clearly not so much of an issue. We just slotted Dyer in. We needed to. Toby played for nearly, I think, almost every game. So it wasn't really an issue. But, you know, so now, is it an issue? Yeah, because we're playing Champions League. It'll be tougher. You can't really rotate Toby as much. What do you do? Well, that's the whole idea of a squad. We can put Victor on Yama there. All right, he hasn't played there for Celtic, but he can play in centre midfield and play Dyer there. You know? Or maybe Dyer is that kind of player. I mean, I remember it was against, was it against Anderlecht. He was like, Gaffer, Gaffer. He, he's, he's an absolute whack. And he still had to say to the Gaffer, 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 seriously, I'm fine. I can stay on. You know, that's the kind of player we want. You know, he, he isn't a Paulinho. They were like, oh, I think I hurt my toe. I can't play at all. Especially if it's away to West Brom or something. Can't play. Sorry. Yeah, you know, for me personally, you know, Eric Dyer's got that, you know, that fighting spirit that, you know, a bit too much of it, so we saw against Chelsea, but, you know, here's the thing, you've got Toby Alvaro, he's only, and a mate of mine, Ken Spurs, I'm going to give a shout out to Paul, actually, who I'm looking forward to seeing, I'm going to miss the Crystal Palace game, unfortunately, I'm at a, a jiu-jitsu um, grading seminar, but I will be there for the Liverpool, Liverpool game, so I hope to see Paul there, and I said, and Paul, Basically, he picked um, Eric Dyer as player of the season. I said, you know what, Paul? I think you misspelled Toby Alderweireld. Toby was player of the season, without doubt. He was absolutely crucial to how we played last season. I mean, I know, again, people say Harry Kane. Which, without doubt, I mean, we have 11 players that pretty much were almost... If you had to put in, say, someone else, we really struggled. So if you put in, say, let's say, take it, say, take it you couldn't play Lamella, you put in Sonny in. We really struggled with that. Not that they didn't struggle, but you could see it was a real on the team, especially towards the end of the season, we weren't as good without you know playing Lamella and Ericsson and Deli Ali and 
Musa. It just didn't work. So clearly, it is an issue. You know, if you know Toby does get injured, yeah. What was that about? Yeah, if Toby does get injured. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. But we can play Dyer there, and yeah, you know, we were going to play one Yama there anyway. So really, it could be the fact that you know, because who would you get in? You'd need to get in someone younger, possibly, or someone older. So we could go for the Icelandic player, you know. But he's an unproven serial. We don't know how good he can be. It could be just a case of, you know, he played a shitty England side, you know, and that's how he, that's, that's, that's why he did well, you know. And then when he came up against real good quality, and obviously you can't blame it for him, but in a real French team with real good quality, he just wasn't, the quality wasn't there. You know, so do we get him? Do we get Ashley Williams? All right. Is he going to be decided, you know, by the way, you're going to be starting on the bench, by the way, mate. Yeah, and that's all. And he can only play one position, centre half, right centre half. We've seen Pochettino, he likes to play players to be, be able to do multiple roles, you know, and he said, yeah, he can't do that. He's 28, I don't think he's willing to learn any tricks. Yeah, he could be a great signing. Swansea would want good money for him. For me personally, I just can't see us, you know, I'd love, I'd love to sign him. But is he going to have that, you know, but was he going to be settling for being secretary to Toby Alderweireld, player that he's older than? No, I don't think so. Even to, even to, even to play Champions League, you know, even to be at play at the highest level, would you be willing to sacrifice a first team place to maybe play in Champions League? I'm gonna go with no on that. So all right, centre halves who's available? Well, we live in a world where John Stones is being sold for fifty million pounds. John Stones is a very good player, and I very much heavily rate him, but he's still a very raw player. Very, very raw. He's learning his tra learning his trade learners like Burnley. Burnley, he's getting he's, he's getting better, but he's still learning his craft. I mean, I was watching the one to eleven that um, Carl Walker did, and the players he actually had his centre halves weren't Lady King and Michael Dawson or William Gallas. He actually had, you know, Chris Morgan and I think Andy Todd, who he basically said, look, they coached me what to do, what not to do, and they had the experience to do that, you know, so. This will tie into like, well, why don't we? You know, we'll say, you know, say, can't have life team. No, he can't. But there'll be people in there that can help him get to that level. Because I think Cameron Carter Vickers, as fourth percent of back, he's the only one available. He really is. You know, he's clearly too raw. You know, he's 18. He'll learn to make, he'll make, he'll make mistakes. But he'll make them in the League Cup. Hopefully, we'll have a good League Cup run. And hopefully, he can say, look, you can start every League Cup game. Hopefully, we, can, we, we can't guarantee the draw is going to be. But this is your opportunity to shine. We could get, you know, Chelsea or Man City or, you know, Man United, Arsenal, Liverpool, a really big side. Or we could get Ackland and Stanley all day. Exactly. You know, we could get one of those. It just, but whatever happened, this is your chance to shine. And, you know, hopefully he won't have that, you know, that rabbit in the headlights that Stephen Crawford was affected by. He plays, he gets better. You know, some players, you know, I mean, Sandro, that was Sandro's first game and didn't have a great first six months settling in and then sucks in player. Bam, he's one of the most important players. Corker never really got to that level. So hopefully we can see how things are going to go from there. Um, I personally feel that, you know, if you've got a full centre back, you know, he's really a fish my centre back. Yes. For me, it might be more worried about Dembele because we struggle without Dembele. So we haven't signed a box office player. We, we may be trying with a Winks, one Yama combo, see how that develops. Again, I would like to see us up sign Axel Witzel, but here's the thing. You've got to sign players that can play instead of and also with. So, my, again, my mate Sharky, uh, Belgian, hot Belgian, Hotspur, yeah, he said, look, Witzel and... Um, Dembele just doesn't seem to play well together. For whatever reason, they don't seem to play that well together. You know? So we can't go for Witzel. I would like to see a sign to Hood, but, you know, I think, you know, he's 25 million. Can we afford him? Yes, probably. Is he going to be a game changer? I think he will affect us. I think he'll do well for us. Or we can go with someone like Harry Winks. See how he does in the league, you know, in the league cup. See how he develops. You know, and maybe he gets minutes. You know, clearly there isn't that Europa League to really like the way that Harry Redknapp, Harry Redknapp, Harry Kane got his chance in eventually, and yeah, Lamella got his chance, you know, to show what he could do. 
So here's that's just, I just don't think it's not you know that's why I think it's worthy of clickbait. And I, look, at the end of the day, that's how they make money. Yeah, you know, clickbait. I mean, my, there's a guy Mark Spurs fanatic. He writes the most brilliant, absolutely fucking brilliant articles. There was another one I think it was by Spurs Report, one of the best articles I've read in a long time. Hot page HQ, some really good stuff there. And there's not some not so not so good stuff there, which is just pure blatant clickbait. Ben Pierce can do a lot better. Clearly, can do a lot better. I just don't think. Yeah, there isn't a lot of Spurs news going on right now. Are we going to sign Nkudu? Or are we not going to sign Nkudu? And now this bullshit about signing Dane drink, drink Water, which I'm like, I don't think so. That's going to happen somehow. Yeah, not that he's not a good player. He clearly is, but just don't see him fitting into what we need. You know. So especially at the price they're going to demand for him, I just don't see it happening. Yeah, that is the ice cream van. <laughs> and even though it's been pissing down on most of today. Ice cream vans will still can't go up and down this road. But no, I just still think that... What was that about? Yeah. I still think that, you know, we, we talk about giving kids a chance. We saw in the Atletico and Juventus games, we saw Onoma, Winks and um, Carter Vickers give good accounts. They weren't steady. There's, there's, a lot of raw, there's a lot of rawness there. But, you know, if, if an academy can produce, what... As a factory, for example, can produce what two good players a season that could be backups. I'll take that. They're invested in the club. They know how the club works. They've been under the for two years now, so they're going to be using his methods and his strategy because that's how they're going to learn. So and so and because the whole, the whole idea that his fingerprint goes all the way down. So from the, from basically from the first team to the under 15s they all play to that particular strategic model. You know, or variants of, but you know, given the players they've got, and, um, and that's what we're trying to produce. We're trying to produce players for the first team. You know, what we'll need, say, three, four years down the line. So if you're 16, well, this is what we need three, four years down the line. You know, and trying to fashion those players. Now, I'm not saying Carter Vickers or Onoma or Winks are going to be, you know, some. You know, are they going to become the Ledley? Are they going to become? The Glenn Hoddle, I think they become the Tony Galvins. They're not. I'm not saying they will. I'm not saying they can't. I'm not saying they will. It's just we have to give them a chance, so we keep them. And say six months down the line, we know they're not getting any games. Then we can loan them out. Then we can look and see what other players become available in the market. If we have a good Champions League run, you know, hopefully we don't make the mistakes of last season. You know, season before, we look at players in the Europa League because I think they're not cup tied, and we say, look, do you know what? You see how well we're doing. Do you want? to have a chance playing for us. Some players, you know, like Peanut came to us. He wasn't. He didn't. He didn't really work out for him. The injuries, form, just just didn't work out. But, you know, I think we can use that. I appreciate we put a good run together. So yeah, hopefully, you know, I said I'm so. If I was a bit harsh to Ben Pierce, I wasn't deliberately trying to, you know, you know, shit stir. I'm just trying to say that if you're gonna say that we should be doing X Y Z. You know, is it a problem? It's, it's a damn flat of proportion. I think we haven't got a fifth choice centre back. Our fourth choice centre half is basically playing. I've been asked to play two roles. Well, that's what all Pochettino, all Pochettino players do. That, you know, that's what they, they do. I mean, I'm sure if say Dyer was injured, then we could put him on Yam. But if Yam got injured, then we got we got to buy someone. Then got to buy someone. Got to buy someone. Well, who? You know, you got to stop. Yeah, at some point, you got to start trusting in you. And I think that's the whole thing about Spurs, that we do trust our youth. You know, teacher, leave, leave, leave us kids alone. <laughs> no, but no, that's the wrong one. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, the writing's on the wall. I think we've got to give the kids a chance. I think Onum has shown something that Sonny hasn't. And I hope, I'd like to see something good come to me. I bet you any money that, do you know what? There was a lot of Lamella hate last season. And there's still a bit of like, always, oh, you know, the jury's still out on him a little bit. But hopefully it will play over. But you know what? The Mella hate this lot of last season will be played by Sunny Hate. I honestly I'll put my bottom dollar on that easily. So yeah. You know, don't let the sun, you know, go go down on me. <laughs> anyway, uh been great to chat to you and you guys. I'm looking forward to beginning the season. We'll play uh Inter Milan in, in Oslo. Unfortunately I'm about to go. Work work and all that. But um yeah, uh, Rosie, have a good time, and um, yeah, I will hopefully see a lot of you um, yellows at the uh, you know towards the end of the month. You know, when we play Liverpool, and um, yeah. Uh, by the way, a uh, big shout out to um, Craigie Boy and Jeremy, uh, whose birthday is today. 
Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday just for you. And yeah, that's as bad as my singing will ever get. As good as it will ever get. Anyway, as always, thank you for listening. And as always, come on you Spurs.